So my name is Dr. Ben Evans. I'm an Associate Professor in Aerospace Engineering at Swansea University. The exciting point we've arrived at now with Bloodhound as one of the people involved in the aerodynamic design of this car is we are taking Bloodhound into the real world. It's been a theoretical model on a computer screen for a decade where we've been predicting using aerodynamic computer modeling. Um, we've been predicting the pressure distribution over the surface of the car. What we've got now really is the world's fastest aerodynamics laboratory. This is as far as I'm concerned, a piece of scientific equipment where over the surface of the car we've got almost 200 pressure tappings at critical points on the car where we want to be measuring the pressures on the surface of the real car and comparing that with the computer model that we used to design it in the first place. Of course, what I'm hoping and what we're seeing so far is that the mapping between the, the real world measurements at these pressure points and the computer model that we used to design the car in the first place are mapping very well together. That's up to Mach 0.6 as far as we've pushed the car so far. And of course, what I'm hoping is that we can we continue to see that close mapping as we accelerate the vehicle in future tests. So what I'm looking at here is a comparison of the actual data we pull off of the car compared to the uh, CFD simulations that we've done in the years leading up to the project coming out of the pan. Um, this is really a big moment in terms of making sure that the models that we've based the entire design of the car off and the entire performance of the car that we can expect to the actual data that we are seeing here on the panel. So far they're matching up really well, which is um, very reassuring. Um, so as you can see from this plot, uh, you can see the colour mapping over the entire car. That's the CFD predicted model. Uh, because it's a nice computer simulation, we can see everywhere all over the car. Uh, on the actual car, we can only see at particular points that we put holes into the car and we can measure the pressure at those points. Um, so what you're seeing here is all of these points across the car and if they're green, they're within our tolerance band, and if they're red, they're outside. So what you can see here is a nice green Christmas tree effect, which means everything's looking good.